A lot of restorers who are doing water damage jobs aren't necessarily interested in handling contents, but you should be documenting it because what you don't want to be doing is paying for someone else's pre-existing conditions. Today on InCircle's Quick Tip, we're going to go through documenting contents on water damage. When you're moving items in a water damage job, you're going to want to make sure you don't get those pre-existing conditions to come back and bite you and you have to pay for them. Now, earlier I was moving this around. I took a picture of the item before and then we moved it. There was no pre-existing damages to that. However, when we look at this, you know, a lot of people are going to make claims that things that you break after the fact are really valuable. I want to document any pre-existing conditions here. I'm going to take a photo of it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the disposition as keep as is. And then I want to go in and I want to document my pre-existing conditions. In here, you're going to see that we have inside some chipping uh, inside the, the lid. We have some chipping inside of uh, the container and there's some uh, debris at the bottom. I'm going to pull the app out and I'm going to make sure that we capture that pre-existing condition. And more photos are good, but I just need to show that there's some chips there when we were packing it out or we were going to move it around. And we're going to turn it around and show the chip and crack right there. Going to fit done. Pre-existing condition. Save. And when the homeowner sees that you've taken that type of time and due diligence with the contents, they're not going to be blaming you for the broken stuff that was actually broken by their kids or someone else. And that's your in circle quick tip.